Hey friends, my name is Michelle with Garden Jargon and I want to say welcome to my channel. If you are coming to my channel for the very first time, welcome to Throwback Thursday. And if you have not subscribed yet, please consider doing so because I have lots of garden tips on my channel here. If you are coming back as a subscriber and you got the message of this video, welcome back. Thank you so much for your support. You have no idea how much it means to me. Thank you. So the reason I'm doing this Throwback Thursday is because I have tons of videos in an archive that I have not published yet on YouTube because they are um, videos that I didn't edit. I don't know how to edit. This is pre-edit. This is when I said I'm not going to do edits. So these videos might be a little older. They might be longer, but the information is still really good. So I wanted to share this information with you. And what I'm doing is every Thursday, I'm doing a quick intro video like this, and I'm attaching one of these old archive videos to this video. There's about 40 of them. So you're going to see a new video every Thursday, but it might be two years old, but it's the same methods that I've used before and that I've learned from YouTubers on YouTube. So thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope that you guys, oh, there's my Molly. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoy this Throwback Thursday edition of my videos. Take care guys and God bless. Hi there. It's April 30th. It's about 60 degrees outside. I just got home from work and rushed home because when I left for work, it was nice and cloudy and overcast. And I wasn't freaking out about my greenhouses today because they do get pretty warmed up. I got these two little greenhouses from Aldi last spring. So I think I paid like $30 for this one and like $20 for this one. But they're little greenhouses, not like over the winter season in grown, growing zone 5B. I'm in Chicago, but um, definitely something to harden off my plants. Now I have hundreds and hundreds of plants in, inside under grow lights which I've been growing, but now I'm stepping up on my tomatoes. So I have cluster grown my tomatoes and there's about 30 tomatoes in one pot. So I'm separating them out into 30 individually solo cups and there is no more room inside. So I had to bring all my peppers outdoors and I just got home from work and I opened my greenhouse with anticipation that they were not gonna die or it was too hot. So when I am home, I open these doors and I let the air get in there and it doesn't get too hot and I can circulate the stuff on the shelves. So I wanted to share with you what I have going on in here. Let me flip the camera. There. Step back here and take a look. This is what the big greenhouse looks like. I have made a shelf up top. So inside, what I have is, that's a tray of sweet banana peppers that I've stepped up from 72 cell trays. This here is early jalapenos, same thing. I grew those in a 72 cell tray that I stepped up into larger cups. This whole tray is red peppers, red bell peppers. Now those red bell pepper seeds actually came from a fruit that I ate physically from a plant that I purchased at Home Depot last year. So um, one of the fruits that I got off a Home Depot plant last year, I got the seeds out and this happened. And the funny thing about this story is I planted three seeds per cell in a 72 cell tray and all of them germinated. And I'm not sure if you're like me, but I cannot get rid of a seedling. I can't do it, I can't throw it away. It's like throwing away a picture that you took your foot on accident. I can't toss a picture. I could not definitely throw away a seedling. So that's what happened. This is a result of that. I just stepped them up and they're doing pretty good. I think they're growing a little slow, but I have expectations for my, my plants. Same thing happened with the orange pepper. I grabbed the plant from Home Depot last year. I ate the fruit, I saved the seeds, I planted three seeds per cell in a 72 cell tray and it resulted in 100% germination. So I had to split them off and step them up into these, right, are these solo cups. So that whole tray is orange peppers. What's down here? Oh, look at that, more orange peppers. Just because I grew like 2,000 of them. And um, pepper plants are a little finicky, so it's hard to determine if they're gonna if they're gonna live or if they're gonna die. So I'm glad I have extras. These here are more sweet banana peppers. Those are a little bit slower to grow. 
I planted them at the same time as the other ones. Um, no, actually these were planted before the bell peppers. The bell peppers were planted. Um, no, I lied again. I'm sorry. Banana peppers were, were planted on the 3rd or 23rd of March. And then I stepped them up on 420. Orange peppers and bell, the red peppers, they were done on 311. So you can see the growth difference. These monsters, oh my gosh, I'm so proud of these. Look at these. Look at that pepper. I can't wait to get that in the ground. Can't even wait. I don't even know what this is. I have to pull the tag out. I didn't mark each individual one because I was in a hurry. And these are actually, oh, <laughs> more orange peppers. So I have red peppers, orange peppers, yellow peppers, and green peppers. Down there, what do I have? Those are, no idea. Let's see. Those are puny. I know that much. Yellow peppers. Some more yellow bell peppers. These are a whole tray of jalapeno peppers. This is another tray of yellow peppers. And these are all early jalapeno peppers. But this is a pretty big tray. Look how far that goes back. It's a big tray. I have it down here on the cinder block at the bottom. And then these... This whole tray is a tray of the seed spread that you get at like the Dollar General. I think it's like $1.50 for the box. Um, seed for impatience is mixed in with like a vermiculite, like a very light core, like, I don't know, it's like a filler. And I just put potting mix on this tray. It's a draining tray is on the top and a non-draining tray is on the bottom put the potting mix in there and spread them all over. And I do have some seedlings coming up. Here's one right here. And um, I just did this on the 23rd, so it's only seven days old. I did the same thing here with a mix called the hummingbird mix, and you can see that popping up already. There's tons of sprouts in there, which I'm grateful for because I don't know where I'm gonna put them. But it's nice to grow something like that because then you can literally take a knife and cut it like a cake and then plant that um, flower ball somewhere in your yard. So that's one of houses. And then the other greenhouse, I haven't even opened it up yet. Oh, those onions are swimming. Huh. Yeah, we had a lot of rain last night. Oh my goodness, so much rain. Look at that bucket. Had no idea that that was there. Wow, I'm glad there's no mosquitoes here right now. It would be a fest of mosquitoes. And this greenhouse flip you has done pretty well also um these trays isn't this clever i'm i'm such a frugal person these trays i think they hold like two liters of pop or something my friend has a restaurant and i asked if i could have them he said yeah so i line them with plastic that way it still holds water at the bottom of the tray but that whole tray is peppers they are early jalapeno peppers this whole tray, I marked it on the tub, is red peppers. Look how giant those are. So grateful. This whole tray is yellow peppers. Those look beautiful. This whole tray is red peppers. Again, I wrote it right on the tub. This whole tray is red peppers. Those are a little puny, but they'll get there. They'll catch up. They will. And this is another tray of red, pe red bell peppers. And then again, the Dollar General sells that box for $1.50 of marigolds. So I had seed cell trays like this, filled them with potting mix, sprinkled the marigolds, and voila. I'm going to do it again because I just found another box at the store for $1.50. I'm going to do this again. But if you buy these at Home Depot or something like that, just one of these is like four bucks. And I did it for $1.50 plus the cost of the potting mix. So I brought all this stuff out here to harden off here in these greenhouses because it is April 9th, nope, 30th today. And I think our last frost date, I think was August 26th this year. Um, I'm not worried about frost anymore. It got down to like 37 Sunday night, but I wasn't worried it was gonna get too bad. 
because when I see something like that, I just keep the greenhouses closed so it encloses heat from the day. I keep them closed up and then that way I know that um, everything will be safe out here and it's not gonna frost over. Um, but these are my greenhouses. I brought all this stuff out here so I have more room inside. Now I'm gonna step up my tomatoes and I will make a couple videos about that, um, about the different varieties that I have because I think I'm growing about 20 varieties of tomatoes this year. I don't even eat tomatoes, but I wanted to share with people different varieties so they can try stuff that's rare. I got a bunch of my seeds from uh, rareseeds.com, Baker's Creek, and um, I will um, post those videos on how to step up tomatoes. And then also, who doesn't love cheap lumber? So all this wood you see on the ground here, I got that at Home Depot on the clearance aisle. And I think total for all of this lumber that you see behind me, I don't think I spent more than 15 bucks on all of this lumber. I had a gift card for screws and I'm going to build two shelves for buckets. Those shelves that look like a step, I'm going to build two of those that hold 16 buckets each and therefore with the sun being where it's at right now, I get a lot of intense sun here towards the end of the evening um, here at the back of my shed, as well as at the back of my garage over there, or the side of my house, I'm sorry. So I'm gonna make those um, bucket shelves so I can continue to grow more wonderful tomatoes and peppers. And I just learned and read on several different occasions that you can grow two peppers in a five gallon bucket which is even better because you saw how many peppers I have. And I love bell peppers. I think I eat bell peppers every day. But I thank you very much for hanging out with me today. Just made to make, wanted to make a quick video for you to see my beautiful greenhouses over there. And a lot of people ask if these greenhouses from Aldi are good, and I vote yes, they are. However, I do have them propped up against a chain link fence, so they have a lot of support. So a lot of people that dislike them say they tip over or the wind took it away. I put cinder blocks at the bottom to hold them down. And plus, once you get peppers in there like that, it's pretty heavy. Um, so just wanted to share with you what I know and what I've gotten, information that I've gotten offline and off of YouTube. And say thank you very much for hanging out with me today. I hope you stay safe and I hope you stay healthy. And God bless and I hope to see you in the next video.